simmering anger among locals at the site of the much touted southern peripheral road apne bachcho ko leke kaha jayegi na adan to bachche hamare sab jayenge gaon mein ghar mein jangal mein khet mein sadak par road pe de de ke maar diye hum jo hum yahan 60 saal se baithe hum to ujadne chahe aur ye jo bahar ki jo abadi hai जो कंपनी ने जो बिल्डर बनाए गए जो मकान ने दे रही है उन बसाना चाह रही है द सेटलमेंट ऑफ ओवर 200 हंड्रेड गुजर्स लेट दैट देर लैंड वॉज टेकन ओवर बाई फ्रॉड टू बिल्ड द सदन पेरिफरल रोड आफ्टर लूजिंग देर एग्रीकल्चर लैंड देर नाउ फाइटिंग टू सेव देर होम्स विच फॉल राइट ऑन द रूट ऑफ द सदन पेरिफरल रोड Even as funds for the Southern Peripheral Road or SPR were first sanctioned in 2007, revenue records of the same year clearly show that these homes existed. Proof that no field survey was conducted before drawing out this 90 meter wide road. को सुरक्षित रखना चाहो तो साइडों में खाली पड़ी है। आज भी मौके पे आज भी मौके पे खाली पड़ी हुई है। दूसरा ये मैडम लाइसेंस तो इनको आज मिले हैं। हम तो पुराने हैं साठ साल तक बैठे हैं। Out of the 12 odd kilometers of SPR that starts at Sohna Road and ends at NH8 just before the Manasar Toll, work comes to a grinding halt right in the middle. The stretch from Golf Course Road to Bachapur Drain is a smooth stretch. Work is on in full swing to build a culvert over the drain, spearheaded by Unitec, which owns the maximum share of land along the SPR. Minutes ahead lies the settlement of Gujars who have won a stay from the high court over removing their homes and beyond the disputed 400 meter stretch the road takes shape again given the presence of big names like DLF and Tata but this deadlock between the Gujar zamindars and the government effectively splits the SPR property market into two halves affecting all 25 developers between sectors 68 to 76 the southern peripheral road i think half of it is doing well the other half because it is dominated by two or three major builders i think there is again a problem of uh, the roads over there and also problem of performance of those builders and by this road problem the land acquisition problem over there it has thrown a span in the works over there a lot of properties over there they have peaked and i think they are on the way down call it quite confidence or the bullishness of investors the property market along the spr has topped the charts despite the heated land dispute since the second half of 2010 prices have appreciated by 68% till the first half of 2013 out of a huge supply of over 21000 units just about 4500 units are today available and prices here are trading at a weighted average price of 6628 rupees per square foot the southern peripheral road will probably peak in about 4 to 5 years whereas the uh, northern peripheral road will peak in about 8 to 10 years so that is the time horizon the problems in the northern peripheral road are much more severe and given the kind of public opinion we have right now and the given the kind of political situation and given the kind of legal problems it is facing it looks like it is probably going to be a little sluggish compared to the southern peripheral road the local zamindars assert that the government has to provide them land parcels in the adjoining sectors equal to their current holding along with compensation to build their new homes but the haryana urban development authority has still now dragged its feet in offering a rehabilitation package All eyes are now on the courts to provide relief to the locals and the investors along the SPR. Vasudha Sharma, NDTV.